Hello, this is Luke Freeman, horticulture specialist and owner of Freckleton Farm. Today we're in our Yoderbilt greenhouse to talk about starting seeds. We've absolutely loved having a greenhouse to start seeds for our garden. It's been a game changer. Before we had this greenhouse, we were starting seeds under grow lights by our back window, which we made work, but having a greenhouse makes a huge difference in terms of growing healthy seedlings for your garden. Now, starting seeds is fantastic if you want to grow varieties of vegetables or cut flowers that you can't find at the store. And also, I believe you can actually grow healthier transplants if you start your own seeds and have a great growing environment like this greenhouse to grow your plants. So to get started with starting seeds, it's important to have good containers for seed starting. So here are a few examples right here. Um, what's very common, and this is actually easy to come by, is starting seeds in six packs like this. Um, and you can have a flat of uh, six packs, which gives your, your young plant, your seedling, plenty of room for the roots to grow. Um, here's a really good option. You know, you can also find a bunch of different um, plug trays like this. Um, or here's a 200 cell plug tray, which I actually like to use this for starting tomato seeds and then I'll pot them up into a cell like this. You know, you could also use um, larger containers like that, or, you know, I've seen people use solo cups and then punch holes in the bottom for drain holes. Um, there are many, many options. But, you know, here are some common um, seed starting trays that are commonly used. You know, the most important thing is that you have plenty of room for the roots, and then you have a hole in the bottom for water drainage. When it comes to uh, potting mixes to use to start seeds, you can watch my previous video on different types of potting mixes to use. Um, but, you know, one thing I talk about is there's potting mixes made specifically for seed starting. So here's an example of one. You can see it's just called a seed starting potting mix. It's gonna be a little finer in texture. Um, so this would be ideal if you're using um, something like this to start your seeds. Um, you can make your own, like I talked about in the video, or just use regular potting mix. But especially if you're using um, some small cells like this, you definitely wanna get you know, a seed starting mix, um, which is finer and it's not going to have any big chunks of bark or anything like that. All right, so we'll get started by filling these cells with our seed starting mix. So I'll just go ahead and do that. All right, so you want to make sure to, you know, fill in all the holes, fill in all those cells. And then what I like to do is to give it a few sturdy, um, tamps uh, to tamp everything down, let everything settle, and then I'll fill in if any of these cells are a little light and mix. And then give it a few more tamps and that's good to go. Um, you don't want the mix to be overflowing. You want a little bit of room um, for that water to settle in. Okay. So now that we have the seed starting mix in our cell packs, it's time to plant our seeds. So um, another thing I like to do, it's optional, but I like to go ahead and make a slight depression in the mix with my fingers. And that just gives um, the seed a little, a little hole um, to settle into. And then once we, we cover it, um, that, that puts the seed at the right depth. So today I'm gonna to be seeding some black seeded Simpson lettuce in these containers. And when it comes to seeding, you can do it a few different ways. One, one thing you can do is pour in your hand and then deposit one or two seeds at a time. I like to put two seeds per hole just so that if one doesn't come up, the other one will. So you can just kind of pinch them um, 
pinch them off like that, do a few at a time. Or you can use a seed packet like this, just kind of fold the lip of it and then tap it and then get the seeds to come out that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and seed all of these cells with one or, well, it's more like two or three seeds which I'll have to thin these out once the seeds come up. So I got all the seeds in here. Now it's time to cover them. And what I like to do is just take the, the potting mix that I used to fill the cells and just lightly cover these seeds here. Okay, so a rule of thumb is that a seed wants to be twice as deep as it is wide. So larger seeds are gonna be deeper, smaller seeds are gonna be more shallow. Lettuce seeds, um, you wanna sow them pretty shallowly uh, because they are small seeds, just, I mean, about a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. So just barely cover those seeds with the soil. Another option to use, this actually works really well, if you can get your hands on some vermiculite. Vermiculite makes a great seed covering. It's very light, it'll hold on to water. And so you can just, you can cover your seeds that way with vermiculite. All right, so I'm gonna kind of even things out over the top here. Just with my fingers, being very careful not to disturb the seeds that I have in here. I'm just making sure they're all covered. Okay. So now that the seeds are all covered in my tray, I am going to water them in. So here's a good watering wand I like to use. It has a nice breaker on it. It's pretty gentle. You just want to be very careful when you water in your seeds not to disturb the seeds. You don't want the blast of water to be too powerful that it's going to knock soil out of the cells. Uh, but you do want to make sure to to thoroughly wet the media, I'll just show you. All right, so I just finished watering my seeds. You can see that I thoroughly soaked the media. Seeds need moisture and they need warmth to germinate. So I'm gonna make sure the media stays moist. I'm gonna monitor it, uh, water it once or twice a day to make sure it doesn't dry out. Another thing you can do is you can cover your tray with a dome like this. And this dome, it's gonna trap moisture, but it's also gonna, gonna increase the temperature for your seeds. Um, it's gonna create a greenhouse effect under the dome. You could use something like this that you buy, or you could put saran wrap, plastic wrap over the top. Um, with something like that, you just wanna make sure it doesn't get too hot. The ideal germination temperature for most seeds is between 85 and 95 degrees. It depends on the seed and you can read on the seed packet that ideal temperature, but you know, between 85 and 90 is good for most seeds. So you wanna make sure it stays, stays warm. Um, and then also once the seedlings come up, uh, you wanna make sure they have plenty of light. Then you're gonna grow your seedlings in the greenhouse for it's four to six weeks for something like lettuce or kale. It's gonna be six to eight weeks for a larger seedling like tomato or eggplant. And a greenhouse like this is a great place to start seeds and grow healthy plants. 